back here and uh, it's Tuesday morning I woke up early for some reason 2 30 a.m. and uh, so I decided to just go ahead and shave this morning gotta kind of keep it down you know the missus is next door sleeping but the uh, Rizul today Ruzel. That's, that's how I say it. How you say it? All right. This is the water-based version. And you know, I don't think I've tried one oil-based pomade. I need to get some. Just to, just to try it. Time for a haircut. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why in the world I woke up this morning. Just did. But I uh, got in my cabinet the other day and found some old soap I hadn't used in a while. Sterling. That stuff. Ozark Mountain. I've had this a while, but I haven't used it in a while. In fact, I thought I gifted it. Uh, I've got it in this Pyrex bowl. And I've actually bloomed it. It's a soft soap. But, um... Got my, uh... Satin Tip the Purist. Alex de Leon gifted this to me for Christmas. It's got a great handle. So uh, I'm just going to put a little bloom water on my face. Now from what I remember, this stuff really... Good soap. So we're gonna see how it goes. Should load up pretty quick. I got it in this. So it's a full puck. And I had a conductor that was wanted to get into uh, wet shaving. So I thought I gave him this, but I, I guess I gave him um, something else. think, oh yeah, it was a uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood. Which I have a tube of that. This is synthetic. And uh, he's trying to get me into the synthetic movement. Which I've used this once and uh, it surprised me. Done very well. Mm. Sterling Mountain. It, uh, I mean, Ozark Mountain. It smells like an actual walk in the mountains. Really dense hairs. It's getting everywhere. <laughs> but it is soft. I 
I ain't told y'all what I'm using today. I'm using the Nesset blade again, the Gillette. That was gonna be uh like I was saying I was gonna be shaving uh this evening. But they're doing track work. So uh I don't know what time I'll get off today. <laughs> I decided let's shave. Very woodsy scent. I don't know. It's uh, kind of like a, a field or woods. Kind of got a. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna pair it with Irish moose, and kind of has that same scent. So, this is my uh, pre-war Gillette Tech, and use this heavy tech. Use this in a while. This is the American made. It's got the uh, triangular. If you ever hear anybody speaking of tr the triangles, that's them. See, they're not. Uh, some of them are square down here. The old ones were. Old ones are a triangle like this, and they they cut a little bit better. This is hollow, but uh, days of old, they used to put rocks in these or sand, kind of weighed it down. The old set in. Nasset. And uh, with any old razor like this, you gotta make sure your your blade lines up. See them holes? I try to measure the distance on each side. Really smooth shaver. One of my faves. Oh yeah, this blade's a lot smoother than this. haven't seen it I have my uh, live picks for 2016 video and I had to get it out but I was in a hurry that day so you know right after my my New Year's shave I went straight into that video and I, and I kind of goofed up on some things but I tried to make it right during the video <laughs> I didn't get home in time yesterday to redo it so I should just quit my day job to do this full time for you. That'd be nice. I see these uh, YouTubers, like these gamers and stuff. This is all they do. I think I'd run out of stuff to say, though. Probably not. Sterling, I need to get some more. Got a 
they're kind of a little bit of razor burn from the last time. And for all my new subscribers, I do change my grip. When I do my chin, uh, it kind of helps me stabilize it around the chin. Usually I hold it like this. But when I go around my chin, I put my thumb, I mean my pinky on the bottom and spread my fingers out. And I have better control. I could do probably another pass or just what's on my face. <laughs> this stuff's slick. Yeah, I noticed uh, a couple of y'all are going to try the wet in your face with the brush with the bloom water and uh, done it this morning. I like it. That's something I'm going to keep doing. This brush has really good flow. And the knot, even though it looks small, actually is dense. I like it. <sighs> it reminds me of the commercial about Mikey. Mikey will eat it. Mikey likes anything. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get some more sterling this year. Mm, what y'all's favorite sterling? Any suggestions? In fact, y'all did give me some good uh, suggestions on the Chevettes and uh, new products that I need to try. I really do appreciate it. I was going to probably do a video just a talking if I get in time today or tomorrow about uh, my plans for 2017 more about this video my youtube channel for me and for y'all uh, i got ideals got ideals man this soap is nice This blade's good and sharp. I tell you, it reminds me of a lot of that Gillette yellow. I tell you, the soap's just as slick as ABC. Antica Bobnata Cola. That yeah, stuff's slick. That's actually against the grain for me. Over here, I'm just gonna go straight down because you know I got that little bit of irritation. I 
actually across the grain. Really smooth blade in this razor. Plop my chin down, get these hairs. Hmm. I've noticed I got a few new subscribers. Thank you. If y'all ever need anything, feel free to uh, either comment or write me at shavingwithcap dot at, at gmail dot com. Wonderful. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's smooth, smooth as you can get. That's a, that, that set is sharp. And if, uh, if you, uh, have one of these pre war heavy techs, you can achieve BBS and two passes with it. It just uh, takes learning the angle and putting the right blade in it. That's the one good thing about these synthetics. They wash out so easy. Uh, good brush. I'm, I'm very impressed. This, uh, this one will be one that will probably go in my rotation. Or will go in my rotation. It'll take a little getting used to. But, great brush. Satin tip, the purest. Y'all haven't seen one of those? And these are the Gillette Nasset. You can try these. Uh, good. I like them. And this is the Heavy Tech. There's a great write-up where this guy has like a set of these uh, from Canada and from England. And uh, in fact, I used to have an English one. Great razor. I kind of like the American made a little bit better. Uh, but the handle is the perfect for me. I love the grip on it. The smooth, it's smooth, but it, but it grips. It's got just enough knurling to keep it in my hand. And uh, the thin head, I like that, because you can get around everything and see everything. But uh, magnificent razor. Wonderful. I hope y'all are having a great week. It's Tuesday here. Putting on my iced aftershave balm. My Fairhope Soap Company. Really do enjoy this. Mm. It's got plenty of menthol in it. I'm going to put some right there. Healing up pretty good. And then uh, Irish Moose aftershave. Kind of has a good green scent. My good friend from Sweden sent me that. Because the smell just wasn't for him. And, um, like I had someone the other day ask me about the veg. 
And, uh, you know, if you get a soap or you get a aftershave that you just don't like, you know, you can always trade it or uh, gift it or even sell it. It's real easy to, to change out stuff. Us wet shavers are suckers. <laughs> I dry my mustache. I don't know if y'all got to work today, but I'm going to have to uh, get a hold of West Coast Shaving about the Antica Barbera Cola mustache wash. I believe it's kind of just old or got too hot somewhere. We're putting on a uh, pedal pusher fancies mustache trainer. And uh, this is a good one. And also uh, the beard brand. I have some of that and I've tried that a couple of days and kind of find out it comes in a, let me get it. Oh, here it is. This is a beard brand trio and uh, it says mustache wax. And what I've been doing is pulling it off like this and running it across here like that. And that really didn't, has a great woodsy scent, um, pine woods. But uh, you actually push it off with your thumbnail and uh, like a pea size, roll it up in a ball and then apply it just like you would any other wax. But I've been uh, keeping this in my pocket, carry it to work. And if uh, it starts to, if I need a little bit during the day, I'll put that on. But this is a great mustache wax to start the day with, this pedal pusher fancies. Just kind of scoop some out with my thumb. I've been doing a little bit of reading. Uh, I think at this stage, I'm just training it. So as soon as it gets long enough, gets out there, I don't have to use so much wax on a daily basis. through this stuff dries pretty natural gives you a little bit of a natural look all right there we go all right well i hope y'all have a wonderful day thanks for sticking in there with me I'm going to head to work. Uh, Y'all try to stay warm, dry, and uh, I'll see you around Thursday or Friday. I'm Cap, and I'm out.